So this is interesting. On my previous video, I had received a comment that was marked as spam. The reason why it was spam is because it had a link in it and YouTube almost always dings those, so. Basically what the comment said is that we could see a Swap 4 remaster or new Swap game altogether. So those of you that don't know what Swap 4 is, it's basically the game that Ready or Not takes heavy influence from. This is the reason why I thought it was interesting. Because he links to an article that says, the Activision Blizzard has a new IP in development, talks about remasters and new content for old IPs. This was an article that was published on August 8th of this year. So by the time of this video, it was just a few days ago and reads as follows. During the Activision Blizzard financial conference call for investors and analysts, the publisher's executives talked about a new IP and remasters of old properties. First of all, Chief Operating Officer Cody Johnson explained that while the company is leaning into a strong existing IP, they have new IP projects across each of its business, which include Activision, Blizzard, and King. That being said, they have a high bar for new ideas so not all of them make it through. That high bar also means that it takes time for the games to be launched and that the publisher doesn't talk about them too early. Jay Hansen, that might be a typo, might be Johnson, but anyways, also explained that given Activision's track record, they feel pretty confident about their ability to execute on them over the future. Activision Publishing President Rob Kostich talked about remasters and mentioned that this kind of initiative has brought great results over the last couple of years, with Crash Bandicoot, Saint Trilogy, selling over 10 million copies. Another important element is that those remasters reaffirmed the enduring nature of the franchise. About remasters specifically, he encouraged to stay tuned for more future announcements, and he even mentioned the possibility of new content based on those IP beyond pure remasters. So this is interesting for a lot of reasons. Activision isn't really known for remasters until just about a few years ago when they released Modern Warfare Remastered in 2016 and Crash Bandicoot Saint Trilogy in 2017. According to Wikipedia, they revived Sierra Games in 2014 14. Those of you that don't know what Sierra Games is, they're the people that created Swap 4. According to this post here, it says that Activision has confirmed that the Sierra label will re-release some of their older games, reimagining their older franchises, as well as collaborating with indie studios to create new and innovative, edgy, and graphically unique projects. This is what the founder of Sierra Games said, We're very proud of what we created all those years ago with Sierra Online, and today's news about carrying Sierra forward as an indie-specific brand is very encouraging. We look forward to seeing Sierra's independent spirit live on. On that same day, King's Quest and Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions were announced. They were the first two games that were published under the Sierra brand. Now, if you're wondering where people got the idea that Sierra might be making a remastered version of Swap 4, it all stems from their Twitter when they posted about Swap 4 Gold Edition now being available on GOG. When you look at our IP library, we think that there's a lot of IPs there that fans are going to want to experience again. So on that, I say, stay tuned. For some future announcements. But beyond just pure remasters, there are also a lot of opportunities now to innovate and think about new content for these IPs. There's a lot of growth opportunities within our businesses over time in Activision based on our library of IPs. So you know what I think Sierra tried to do when they put the original Swap 4 on GOG? They probably tried to test the waters to see if this was a more viable game. Because fairly recently with the new Call of Duty, it's a little more edgy and a little more realistic. So maybe they were looking for an older IP that was just kind of like that, which is Swap 4, where it's a little more realistic. It definitely has a lot of themes of violence in it and a lot of themes of cruelty. I mean, the only thing that kind of counteracts that is the goofy dialogue that you hear throughout the game. But I mean, if there was a remaster, they could certainly redo the dialogue that could certainly redo all the violent stuff that could certainly redo all the themes all the levels you know just bring the game into the modern era but again they probably put swap 4 on gog to see if there was anybody that would still buy the original game they wanted to see how big that player base still is so anybody that just decided to like copy it over instead of buying it why now, I don't want to jump the gun here, but that post that went up on Sierra's Twitter about Swap 4 being available on GOG was actually posted back in 2017, two years ago at the timing of this video. And since then, they haven't posted anything aside from that. So this can be one of two things. One, this just might be a hint that a Swap 4 remaster is being made and the developers just went extremely quiet to work on it, which isn't uncommon. Developers go extremely quiet all the time to work on their games. 
or at least I hope they do. Two, maybe something's going on at Sierra Games that's preventing the studio from doing anything and quite possibly stopping production. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's likely because after two years, there's nothing that suggests that Sierra has been shut down in any way. I guess there's also a third option where they just wanted to sell the original Swap 4 and that was it. Maybe they're just not that active on their social media and just working on games. So yeah, that part's a bit of a mystery. I tried to reach out both to Sierra and Activision via Twitter. I even sent an email to Activision, but I got no response. Maybe if my channel was a little bigger i'd be able to throw my weight around and try to get some more answers but as of right now everything is just a rumor which is kind of a shame because it actually does seem like there is some promise and damn it can we get some more swat games please well anyways what are your guys' thoughts i find it very interesting that the last thing that they posted was the original swat 4 now being available on gog and activision blizzard just so happens to be in the market for older ips does that mean anything or is it just smoke and mirrors tell me what you think down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video be sure to like subscribe ding the bell share the video if you would like to support the channel check out my nordvpn affiliate link or send two bucks to me on patreon i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye